Hello everyone and welcome back. This is the newest project in the garage. This here is a Husqvarna GTH 2548 and my dad bought this a long time ago. Currently does not have the deck on it. It's at uh, dad's place there. But it needs a little bit of love. So let's talk about it. Okay underneath the hood here it has a Kohler 25 horsepower engine and really it just has old fuel in the lines uh, I was running but it just hasn't ran in a few years because dad's been using that uh, other Husqvarna there that has 8,000 and some odd hours on it but it, I'm sure this is the original fuel filter and he did say that the fuel that's in it is definitely bad this battery is from 2013 before I took it off the trailer I made sure to I put the charger on it. I don't know if it held a charge, but it did. My smart charger did charge it up and it said it was green, so that's a good sign. And the unknown issue is it won't uh it won't engage into neutral. So on the back of these tractors, there's this little pull pull pin here. And you pull it out and you can push it. And uh unfortunately, it's just locked up a little bit as you can see. There is a little lever in there. It is moving, but I don't know if it's moving enough. So we're going to fiddle with that lever and see uh, what we can find. So this tractor here has 2,000, or sorry, 1,289 hours on it and three tenths. I believe. I think that's a one there. It looks like a one. So this one has a little bit less hours. On it, but uh, regardless, it's a good lawnmower. Dad told me that it was either this machine or possibly the boat, but he was trying to drain the rotten fuel out of the carb. And the little nut broke off the bottom. And I don't know, it didn't seem like it was this, but now that I'm in here, these bolts do seem kind of looser than they should be. Got the fuel in from this side. This little plastic box here, this is the fuel pump. I verified that the brake, uh, the lock works. That moves this mechanism forward. This is going. Um, I think it normally sits about midway because it comes back and it hits on this nut right here and there isn't a lot of room for much else. I think that's working good. The other thing I can think of, this is moving. It's moving enough. So, the only thing I can think of is this little brake down here is rusted on and so I went underneath there I wedged a screwdriver in there there's a little bit of play on the like rotor part of it and now it's moving just fine so it's just a tiny bit of rust on there and then this was acting goofy but uh, we should be good
Okay, I got my jumper cables hooked up and let's try to see if this thing will draw some fuel. I got the choke on. Let's see if it starts. So we're going to turn that off. So it it runs and it blew out a whole bunch of stuff. I think that was from the pulleys underneath there. But uh, it does run. But we're dripping. We're dripping for sure. Okay everyone, so I'm diagnosing the fuel leak and uh, what I noticed is I got the carburetor open here, there's a bowl that sits underneath it and then this screws up into the hole here and it was leaking out around this. So I took the bowl off and <laughs> I'm sitting here and I'm going, why on earth would they put a washer in here? And I'm looking at it and I'm like, well, I guess it would leak around the edge because it's kind of chewed up and blah, blah, blah. And then I'm, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. This is broken off. This washer looking piece is supposed to be, you know, inside of here. Not broken off. Okay, so it took a while to track down a new carb. I actually brought this over to a buddy's house and had him TIG weld it for me but I couldn't mill the surface back down so that it would be a super good fit with this this is the um, uh, the jet so I'll show you kinda how that looks but anyway so I tracked down a new one and it took quite a while to get here but it came with the gaskets and oh, okay, sorry. Came with the gaskets and the whole new car. I figured that's probably the best way to do it. So put a piece of tape over it so that the uh, water wouldn't get in. So now I just have to take and remove all of this and make sure I get the linkage right and put the new carb on.
work just fine. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. All right. Awesome. That is a job that is done. So this thing's running again. I believe my dad bought a deck for it. Probably already at the farmhouse. So next opportunity, we will bring it up there. All right, today we are gonna run up and drop this mower off and grab our next project. So let's head on up there. Funny this year. Yeah. Okay everyone, so this is the next project. Got a uh, little more work to do on the Sargo. Uh, I guess it's making a clunking noise that I have to figure out and I think that might be, I think there's something else but I'll have to, I'll have to let you guys know once I bring it home. But right now we're facing the issue of getting it on the trailer. 